Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek and Emid Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to implement and use AirPrint within your Swift projects. Now on the simulator here, I have an example of what we're going to be creating today. We have our screen and it contains of our text view. We have a button at the bottom which once pressed will then simulate going to print what's basically on our screen. Now what we're going to be printing, like I just said there, is basically the whole screen. So it's kind of set to the borders which we basically want it to. Now, what I've got here is the printer simulator which you can download from the Apple um, development section. Let's bring it up here, there we go. So when you go to download the Apple um, developer.apple.com forward slash downloads, you need to download the hardware section for tools for Xcode uh, it's only about nine megabytes there, but in that contains the AirPrint um, simulator, very much like how we use the iOS simulator. Now, alternatively, if you do actually have an Air printer um, available, you can test it on your device and then print straight to your Air printer. So, either way, we can test it out. Okay, then. So, like I said before, we got our text view here, and uh, just to show you that it's not going to print um, a preset image that I am basically, you know going to add in, what we're going to do is simply type out here uh, a load of gobbledygook, I'll put a load of zero O's there, so when we go to print, uh, you can see at the very end on the image there's a load of O's, so at least you know then that um, it's printing the actual live screen. Okay then, so what we do is press the button and it brings up our printer options, we can then select one of our printers, which as we have the printer simulator open, we've got many to choose from. But we're going to select the um, inkjet there, and we're going to have one copy, and we're going to select print. So as you see there, it's currently contacting the printer. If I scroll down a bit there, you may start to see something change. So it can take a while, depending on how quick it wants to basically work. Sometimes it's quicker than others, depends on how much information it needs to print, basically. But if we just wait a second, you can see that now it's getting the data, it's encrypted. Uh, the connection has started. And now it's been dismissed from my view, so now the printer is basically simulating it printing out. And uh, in a moment, we should get a PNG file of our screen. And there we go, here is our screen. And you can see, just like I said there, it's printed on a nice big A4 piece of paper. And there, with all the zeros or the O's on the end, you can see they're all on the end there. So it's printed a nice little Word document. And the boundaries there, that yellow line, is what we've basically set um, on this you know, screen there with our kind of PDF file. So that's just standard. Obviously, we won't print off the yellow rectangle. Okay then, so already we're gonna be creating that end. So already I've got my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Swift AirPrint for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay then, so to basically set this up is pretty simple. We just need to add in our text view and um, the button to enable us to perform these actions. So if you go to our main.storyboard, I'm going to change the screen size here. Change it to the iPhone 4 inch screen there. And then what I'm going to do is simply go down and scroll down and find our button. I'll add it in there, there we go. And then finally our large text view, which I believe it's a bit further down, there we go. Place that in, and I'll just drag it out there. And I'm going to select them both, and I'm just going to add in some quick missing constraints. Not too fussed about that. Okay, so they're in. We now need to go add the action outlet for both of these, so we can refer back to them. So there we go, add in our outlet for our text view, which I'll simply call text view. And then finally our button, we need to add an action for that, which I'll simply name it print, and select that as an action, and connect that all up. Okay, so once that's all done, we can simply close the assistant editor and then jump into our view controller.swift. So from here then, we can now configure um, the basically printing. And this all happens once we press our button. So what I'm gonna do is simply space out now the little section here where we can then configure it. So the first thing we want to do is basically get our um, kind of interaction printer um, screen where we select what printer and how many copies we basically want. And to do that, we simply go let, and I simply call it print controller, you know, just shorten it down to that, to simply equal our UI print 
interaction. Can't see it there, so print interaction. Uh, we need the controller. There we go. And then we do dot shared printer controller. Then once we've done that, we can then go to configure the um, file that it's going to basically print. So again, we do print, I mean, let's sorry. Uh, and this could be our print info. Simply shorten it down to to simply equal space UI print info. If I can find it there, I can't find it there. Print info. There we go. So then simply equal basically our parentheses here of our dictionary. And then the NS object here, we're going to simply do nil. Make sure that's got one bracket there with our exclamation mark. And then we go on to, again, our print info, which we shortened it down to, to simply dot output type. So here we can basically select what we want it to be. What we're gonna do is a simple general one to simply equal our UI um, print info. Let me find it. Print info, there it is at the bottom. Output type to dot general as this will be, you know, just a general, you know, you can change it. If I go back there, I'll simply show you again, to so like grayscale, anything like that. We can see a little photo, uh, but we're just going to have a general print. That's all we're going to have. We then need to get the name of the job. So again, print info dot job name, which is going to equal space equal our string of print uh, job. Easy enough there. And then the printer controller uh, is then needs to equal the print info to transfer it all over. So we go our print controller dot uh, print info to then simply um, equal our print info. Easy enough there. Okay then. So now once we've done that, we need to then set what it's going to basically print. Now you can choose to print the whole screen. Uh, in that example there, um, what it was actually printing was just basically our text view. So that's basically what we're gonna have set to it. So it's up to you and how you wanna set it. It just you know basically appears which outlet you wanna select. So we do let, and I simply put this format. And the format is going to simply equal our UI markup text print formatter. And that's going to then have two parentheses there. And then the markup it's going to basically equal in text is again, is our text view dot text. And that would be bracket there. We need one. And then the format then needs to have its content inset. And it's simply going to equal our UI edge inset, sorry. Which we do our two parentheses there, and it's going to be our floats here. Now I'm just going to do a general kind of similar size box around the whole thing. So we we'll do 72, 72, 72, 72. Now this is already pre-configured. I've already, you know, got this down already, so it'll look very similar to how it was on the simulator. I'm going to just get rid of the brackets there, and then we get our print controller to then dot print formatter. Again, to then equal our format, which is just there at the bottom. And then once we've done that, we need to then present it, our view, and it's all completely done. So we get our print controller dot present animated. In the highlight section here, we do true. In the um, completion handler here, we do nil. And there we have it. Okay then. So basically, again, what's going on then? We're kind of getting our print controller, we're giving it the info, we're telling it's print job, the um, output type is gonna be general, and then it's gonna be equal to our info, so it's all set up there, and then we're telling it what we want it to have basically printed, which is our text view, and we've got some edges like kind of set up, so it prints everything from 72, 72, 72, 72, basically inwards uh, on um, our piece of paper once it prints, and then we're presenting it, and it's all good to go. So the best thing to do is go to our iPhone simulator, and then go to build and run, and we can test it all out. Okay, then once it's loaded up, I'm gonna bring up our, again, sim, um, print simulator. I'm gonna press our button. Now this time, I'm not gonna add anything to it, so you can see that we're gonna get a different image on the output. 
So we press our button, it's got all our stuff set up there. We can simply select a different printer and then we go to print. And again, we just wait for the um, connection to be made and for the stuff to be printed. Okay, and so now it's all complete. We've got our PDF file here and um, we didn't ha add anything to the end of our text view, but you can see that it's all in with the same size, um, 72 borders all the way around. So there you simply go. That's how simply and easy it is to print stuff from your um, application. So it's great if you had content which you want your users to print out. It, it's a brilliant, brilliant feature to have in your Swift applications and projects. So I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below. If you want more on-to-date and in-depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course. The links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.